It was almost destiny that took me into the Australian Army. As a youngster in Scotland in World War II, all my heroes, including my father, were off in the war, and I wanted desperately to be a soldier when I grew up. But by 1955, we had moved to Australia, and once here, it took a year to persuade my parents to sign the appropriate papers to allow me to enlist. I was only 19 at the time. But by 1956, I became an infantryman in the Australian Army. A year later, I joined the 2nd Battalion on operations in the Malayan Emergency. And it was in Malaya, now Malaysia, that I became Australian. As an infantryman, you're part and parcel of the section you're with. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, that you do that isn't shared with everyone else. Everything you do, eating, sleeping, going to the toilet, is in the same place. It leads to you all becoming more than a team. In a strange way, you become family. The real feeling of being an Australian digger came when I was carrying the coffins of Jackie Potts and Benny Hallard to their graves in Taiping, Malaya. As part of the bearer party, I couldn't be anything but Australian. Jackie and Benny had been killed in action up on the Thai Malay border. By the time we were carrying them, they stank. They had lain in the jungle for several days before they could be evacuated. And even now, more than 50 years on, whenever I get a whiff of damp blankets, I'm back, taking Jack and Benny to their final resting place. It's amazing how the sense of smell can be so evocative. Many years later, in Vietnam, I was the sole Australian advisor to a South Vietnamese unit. We'd been in heavy contact with the enemy deep in the jungle hills, where no helicopters could reach us for resupply. So we ended up eating jungle vegetables, which was mainly wild coriander. We had casualties, but we were not going to leave them, so we carried them with us, despite being pursued by North Vietnamese Brigade. But today, the smell of fresh coriander still brings with it the emotions and images of that time. Now, in looking back over my life in the Army, my experiences there taught me what mateship, care and concern mean and made me a proud Australian.